might seem a bit weird showing you this but I don't care every morning as many mornings as possible I perform a morning meditation it senses me it gets me ready for the day it clears my mind does a disc defrag on my brain and gets me ready for what day's adventures you know are coming my way the thing that I do most is I get into nature right so the good thing about nature is that it vibrates at a vibrational frequency that is conducive to relaxation and getting rid of toxic energy right I pretty much as often as I can get into the water itself sit down take the shirt off get the Sun on my on my skin feel the energy through my feet and absorb all of that through my body this to me is the perfect way to start the day and especially now because my life is been more hectic than it ever has been so I need this more than ever this morning I've been called in to open up early because the excavator is here to knock down the wall between the two warehouses. So this is going to be very, very exciting to watch because you'll see that everything will start to open up and become one massive warehouse space of around a thousand square meters of floor space plus a 200 square meter mezzanine level for parties. So stay tuned. This is going to be epic. just finished a risk assessment meeting with the team it's really interesting you know one of the funny things about business is often your success is predicated on surrounding yourself with people that are much more smarter than you I actually thoroughly enjoyed that because what we're essentially doing is predicting possible negative experiences and things like that so if we don't think of it first on if we don't think of it up front then how do we implement any control mechanisms to solve these problems for a solution so highly important that most businesses in my experience don't ever think about my bro and i are forming up this kit bobcat's now on its way to fill it up with a bunch of dust i didn't think that this entire wall would be crushed up and put into the hole but zoran said we crush we put in no problem so here we are we're going to fill it up getting ready to pour tomorrow When I was looking at getting furniture for the cafe and for the party room upstairs, it was becoming very, very apparent that this was gonna be an expensive exercise. I rang a mate of mine, Shane, and said, what can I do? I want rustic look, I want something that's sort of timber and all the rest of it, and he said, go with pallets. Pallet furnish is unbelievable. Anyway, rang my wife, Anita, who works for Amber Tiles. I said, have you got pallets, honey? She goes, we've got thousands of them. Anyway, I said, I need 94 pallets. Please bring them over. I found someone who could build me pallet furniture, and this is what I come up with, and they have arrived today so these beautiful babies are going to be stained by my lovely mother today so they're gonna come up a treat I can't wait to show you all right got some good news my skateboard samples have come in also this bad boy just uh, arrived scooter so I'm gonna take this out now and uh, got to test these out right <laughs> Just got to finish off the last bit of prep work, which is right before the team of builders come in to build the cafe next week. So I've got a heap of prep work to do in the old hang time space. It's much, much higher and there's a lot of, a lot of dust. There's like 25 years worth of dust that we've got to clean up here. So a little bit of work to do before we can clean up. Then the guys can come in and start building the cafe. <laughs> wraps up another huge week I think we did 90 hours last week and we've done another 80 85 hours this week so this is day 15 <laughs> which is um, been exciting and very tiring at the same time hey, totally worth it this is what I signed up for so no complaints yet two massive wins this week it's been just a, such an epic week of highs and lows first big win was that we were able to bring across 
Hang Times Facebook page over to 360. That is a huge win for us because they've built such a solid fan base over the last five years and I was able to acquire their page and have the same access to their fan base. So that's been a massive, massive win. Second big win, it looks like the massive blunder with the two levels between the, the two warehouses being different, like 500 mil different. It looks like our design team can come up with a way to make it look awesome. To me, actually, what was a disaster to begin with has actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise because uh, it adds a whole other dynamic to the park, which is really, really good. The guys in the US should be coming out inside of 2019. This month of November is interfering with their Thanksgiving. And so despite me being late with my payments, uh, I was able to overcome that. However, getting them here has been another thing because there's a couple of holidays that are coming into play which are really affecting the progress. So fingers crossed that they can get here after the 28th of November in order to smash this park out before Christmas. So that would be the ultimate win. At this stage, there's still so much more work to do and uh, I really need to just keep motoring on until this is absolutely done. I don't know if this is going to be a great success or a great failure. But what I do know is, is that I, I do not want to go to my deathbed knowing that I could have tried and I didn't.